Imagine a world where cities rise not towards the sky, but sink into the depths of the sea. A world where ancient structures and artifacts are swallowed whole, preserved in the watery embrace of the ocean. These are the realms of underwater cities, shrouded in mystery and brimming with allure. More than 70% of our planet is covered by ocean, a vast, unexplored frontier that may hold secrets more astounding than any we've uncovered on land. Cities, once bustling with life, now lay silent beneath the waves, their stories untold, their secrets unshared. These submerged sanctuaries provide intriguing insights into civilization's long past, continually captivating scientists, archaeologists, and history enthusiasts alike. The ocean's depths are a treasure trove of untold tales, a time capsule preserving the echoes of humanity's past. Now, prepare to plunge into the depths as we count down from 10 to reveal the secrets of real underwater cities. At number 10, we journey to the Far East, to the Yonaguni Monument of Japan. Discovered in the late 20th century, this underwater marvel remains an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Is it a natural formation or a man-made wonder? Opinions diverge, theories abound. The monument, a vast underwater structure, features flat parallel edges, right angles, sharp edges, and other formations that seem too methodical to be sculpted by nature alone. Some even suggest it was the work of an ancient civilization lost to time. The Yonaguni Monument, with its terraced stones and intricate step-like structures, has been compared to the Great Pyramids of Egypt and other iconic architectural feats. Its origin and purpose, however, remain shrouded in mystery. Is this underwater marvel the result of geological processes, or is it the handiwork of a long-lost civilization? The debate continues to this day drawing in scientists, historians, and curious minds from around the globe. A testament to the power of nature, or a relic of an ancient civilization, Yonaguni continues to baffle and bewitch. Moving on, number 9 takes us to the Qiandao Lake in China. This man-made marvel is home to an underwater city, lost in time but not forgotten. Born out of a grand endeavor in the mid-20th century, the lake was created as a reservoir for the Xinan River Dam project. Beneath its tranquil surface lies the ancient city of Xicheng, also known as the Lion City. A city that once bustled with life, now submerged and frozen in time, a silent testament to the past. This city was not lost to natural disaster, but to the deliberate flooding that brought about Qiandao Lake. The Lion City, with its grand architecture and ornate carvings, is now an underwater time capsule, a submerged treasure trove of history. It's a world where the past and present coexist, where the echoes of ancient civilization reverberate amidst the still waters. An intentional act of submersion, Qiandao Lake is a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made in the name of progress. At number 8, we dive into the legendary city of Alexandria, Egypt. An emblem of antiquity, its secrets lie hidden beneath the waves, a testament to a civilization that once was. Here, remnants of palaces, temples, and statues are shrouded in the depths, their majesty undiminished by time. The city, once a beacon of Hellenistic civilization, now offers a unique underwater museum to those who dare to explore. It's an archaeological gold mine, home to Cleopatra's palace and the fabled Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Archaeologists continue their tireless pursuit to uncover these submerged secrets, each discovery shedding light on the grandeur of the city that was. The underwater ruins of Alexandria are not just stones and statues, they are pages in a history book, waiting to be read, understood, and marveled at. With every artifact discovered, Alexandria's underwater treasures continue to rewrite history. Next, at number 7, we venture to the Caribbean, to the sunken city of Port Royal, Jamaica. Once known as the wickedest city on earth, Port Royal was a pirate's paradise, a thriving hub of lawlessness and debauchery. In its heyday, this bustling port was overflowing with taverns and brothels, a beacon for those who sought to live outside the law. Yet in an instant, fate turned its back on Port Royal. In 1692, a devastating earthquake sent two-thirds of the city plunging into the sea. The wicked city was no more, swallowed by the waves in a matter of minutes. Today, the remnants of Port Royal lie 40 feet under the Caribbean Sea, a silent testament to its vibrant past. Archaeologists have unearthed well-preserved artifacts, from pewter plates to weapons, hinting at the life that once thrived here. So beneath the turquoise waters, 
the pirate haven of Port Royal still lingers, frozen in time. Once a city of sin, Port Royal now rests in a watery grave, its secrets guarded by the sea. At number 6, we visit the mythical city of Dwarka, India. This ancient metropolis is shrouded in legend, steeped in the epic tales of the Mahabharata. It's said to have been the dwelling place of Lord Krishna, a deity worshipped across the subcontinent. But Dwarka is not just a product of myth. Beneath the waves of the Arabian Sea, archaeologists have discovered remnants of this lost city, a revelation that has sent ripples through our understanding of ancient Indian history. The underwater ruins, with structures that date back thousands of years, offer tantalizing hints of a sophisticated civilization. They raise intriguing questions. How did this city end up underwater? What secrets are still buried beneath the sea? The discovery of Dwarka invites us to delve deeper into India's rich and complex past, to re-examine the stories that have been passed down through generations. Dwarka blurs the line between myth and reality, making us question what we know about our past. Rapid fire round, at 5, 4, and 3, we have Pavlopetri, Villa Epequen, and Baya. First up is Pavlopetri, a city that sleeps beneath the waves off the coast of southern Greece. This Bronze Age marvel, encompassing a complete city plan, including streets, buildings, and tombs, was submerged around 1000 BC. Archaeologists believe it was a bustling center of commerce and culture, a testament to the advanced civilization of the time. Its submersion, likely due to earthquakes, offers us a frozen-in-time glimpse into a world over 3,000 years old. Next, we catapult across the globe to the eerie remnants of Villa Epiquen in Argentina. This once thriving spa town, famous for its therapeutic salty waters, met its watery fate not millennia ago, but in the late 20th century. In 1985, a freak weather event caused a nearby lake to overflow, submerging the town completely. Today, the ghostly ruins, revealed again as the waters receded, stand as a stark reminder of nature's power and unpredictability. Finally, we journey to Baia, Italy, often referred to as the Las Vegas of the Roman Empire. This city, a playground for the rich and famous, was partially submerged due to volcanic activity in the region. The sunken part, now an underwater archaeological park, provides an extraordinary window into the opulence and decadence of the Roman elite. It's a tantalizing blend of history, mystery, and underwater exploration. From Greece to Argentina to Italy, these cities tell tales of civilization, catastrophe, and change. Finally, at number two and one, we have Thonis Heraklion and Phanagoria. Diving into the depths of the Mediterranean Sea, we uncover the lost city of Thonis Heraklion, a bustling hub of the ancient world. Once a prominent port near Alexandria, Egypt, Thonis Heraklion was the gateway for Greece into Egypt, a place where cultures merged and trade flourished. It was a city of grandeur, with towering statues, colossal temples, and intricate stilles. Yet, the city's glory was not to last. Around the 8th century AD, a combination of rising sea levels and ground subsidence caused the city to sink into the sea, lost to the world for centuries. However, Thonis Heraklion refuses to be forgotten. In the late 20th century, underwater archaeologists discovered the city's remains. The unearthed artifacts, including statues of gods and pharaohs, gold jewelry and ancient steels, provide a unique glimpse into the past, illuminating the city's rich history and cultural significance. Moving from the Mediterranean to the Black Sea, we find Phanagoria, our number one underwater city. Once the largest Greek city on the Taman Peninsula, Phanagoria was a significant political and economic center. Its fall came with a devastating earthquake in the 6th century AD, causing a significant part of the city to sink beneath the waves. Yet, like Thonis Heracleon, Phanagoria's story doesn't end there. Archaeologists have discovered an array of artifacts from the city's submerged portion, including ancient ceramics, statues, and even a marble slab with a Greek inscription. These findings offer an invaluable insight into the city's past, painting a vivid picture of life in ancient Phanagoria. Thonis Heracleon and Phanagoria, two cities that have defied time, revealing a past more complex than we could have imagined. These sunken cities, they are not just relics of the past, but windows into our history. Each submerged stone, each hidden artifact, whispers tales of civilizations that once thrived, cultures that flourished, and histories that were lost to the ravages of time and nature. 
The secrets hidden beneath the waves are not just about the cities themselves, but about us, our ancestors, and the world they inhabited. From Yonaguni's submerged structures in the Far East to Fanagoria's underwater relics in the distant West, these cities remind us that history is a vast, unending ocean, and we've barely skimmed the surface. Their allure is undeniable, the mysteries they hold, irresistible. They beckon us to dive deeper, to explore further, to seek answers to questions we didn't know we had. Our journey into the deep has just begun. With every dive,